Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. So I just want to start this video out by saying you are not going to believe one of these bolos. It's huge and it's so exciting. And when I bought it, I didn't even know it was going to be a bolo. So um, I'm one of those people where if I can get it cheap and it looks cool, I'm going to buy it. Um, and that has paid off for me many, many times. But this time it really paid off. And when I was actually looking through it, I found some money. So I'll tell you more about that. All right, so this is my big money bolo video. I have 16 big money bolos coming your way. These are items that I sold for $35 or more. Items that I have picked up at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, Facebook marketplace, and so on. Um, yeah. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And I'm going to tell you exactly about that huge money item and i paid like next to nothing for it so it's super exciting all right let's get started here all right the first item which is a great bolo also i sold this gal for 100 dollars. i took a best offer i probably could have held out for more but um i only paid two dollars for her at a garage sale she is new old stock from 2009 she is Kara doll by Barbie and she's got the rock aware outfit on. And I had no idea that she was going to be so valuable. Um, it was a garage sale. They had tons of new old stock stuff that had just been sitting in their basement. I paid one price for all of it. I said, how much do you want for it all? And it ended up coming to about $2 an item. Now, some of the items were, you know, bread and butter items. So, you know, it just averaged out to about $2, which is fantastic. So she sold for $100. Let me see if I can get you a shot of the back. So I don't know if she's like a part of a set. It looks like maybe um, there's five different ones that come with it. So I would say probably be on the lookout for any of them. But I did not search the others. But this one is most definitely a bolo. The next item I sold is this vintage 1998 Walt Disney's Cinderella Barbie doll. I picked her up at a garage sale. Again, I bought all of the Barbies at this garage sale. So I had about $3 in this one. And I took a best offer of $40 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this gold collection dimensions cross stitch kit. So anytime you see gold collection and you can get this for a decent deal most of these are bolos um the christmas stockings are definitely always something to look for even if they're not the gold collection they still can be a great bread and butter item this item i picked up at a thrift store for four dollars and i sold it for 58 dollars and the buyer paid shipping the next item i sold is this barbie evening sophisticate classic collection by robert best um I don't know. She's really, really fancy. Her box is super cool. She was a part of the Barbie collection that I picked up at the garage sale, and I've got about $3 in her. And I sold her for $39.99, and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item came in a mystery box, and this was about the only thing that I kept in the box. It was just a small box, and for some reason, I just thought she was super cute, and I felt like she would sell. The problem is, is I could not find her anywhere. I tried Google Lens. I tried searching eBay with keywords and I had no luck. So if you know who this is and maybe she's nothing special, I don't know, but she was very well made and super cute. So if you know who it is, comment below. Um, I sold her best offer of $35 and I really feel like I could have held out for more, but, um, I just wasn't sure. I was like, is she special? Is she not special? So I went ahead and took the $35 offer because I felt like if I didn't down the road, I was going to be like, I should have taken that offer. So here's her face. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. So let me know if you know who that is. Okay, you guys, here's the big one. Are you ready? <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. Sports caster info trading card collection. So 
I don't know anything about these. I know that I looked some of them up and some of them sell individually for decent money. These are again, something that um, people will sometimes get graded. Mine are not graded. However, most of them were in decent condition in my opinion. I'm not a collector, so I really um, am not sure, but there were no tears, rips, stains, anything like that. Um, and you know, the pictures really, I, it's hard because there was just so many of them. I'm trying to zoom in here for you guys to see. Um, I had somebody that kept messaging me and they're like, who are the famous people who, and I'm like, you know, like if I'm going to look through them and pull out the famous people, I'm just going to list the famous people individually. Like I didn't want to put the work into it. Um, could I have made more money? selling these individually? Yes, probably so. I mean, there were tons, but, um, I just didn't want that commitment. You can see, I mean, it's what six inches tall there. And these are the actual sports digests. I'm not really sure what that entails, but I got these at a garage sale for, I think it was $6. And when I was looking through them and sorting them into piles like this, I was trying to like at least put them by category so that when I listed them, they would at least know how many were like football or basketball or whatever the sports were. But um, yeah. So anyway, somebody kept messaging me and asking me all these questions and you know, they had some lower offers and I mean, I appreciated their offers, but I know that there's potential here. So somebody sent me an offer of $400. And I was like, you got it. And it actually went internationally. So um, I just shipped these out a few days ago and they are on their way to the new home. So $400, buyer paid the shipping. Um, and when I was sorting them, I found, I think like $4, but the money was even vintage. It was funny. So definitely a very cool bolo to be on the lookout for. The next item I sold, I picked this up at a estate sale and I don't go to estate sales very often. Um, but this one, uh, my husband was like, you should check this one out. There's a lot of stuff there. And I was like, all right. So I decided to go and I found this in the kitchen and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Bakelite. And I have sold cooking um, things like utensils like this that have Bakelite handles before, and I've done well with them. So they had $4 on this set. And I want to say it was, I know it was half off. I think it was $4 half off, or it was maybe it was $8 and I got it for four. Either way, um, it was either $2 or $4 with the half off. And I brought it home and I did test it and it was indeed Bakelite, which is super cool. And I recently did a video on how to test for Bakelite. So if you don't know how to do that, it's super easy. Definitely go check out that video. If you wanna know how to get this white background, um, I also just did a video like that. So the picture looked like this before and then afterwards it looks like this. And it's a super easy filter. You don't have to go to a separate app or anything like that. So definitely check out that video also. And uh, I sold this for $39.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Kendall gray suit. And it's untagged, but I bought it with a bunch of tagged Ken clothing. Um, I could not identify which like outfit it went with, but apparently the person buying it knew and they paid $41 for this and they paid the shipping. The next item, I, and that came from that same estate sale, um, I paid, it was $8 for like a little box full of Barbie clothes. So I got it for four bucks. And um, I don't know how many listings I got out of it. It was probably three or four. So maybe a dollar in this. The next item I sold is this vintage Columbia pullover. Um, it's a snowboard slash ski jacket, size medium, men's. It's got the neon colors. I really thought this was going to sell quicker than it did and for more money than it did. Um, I did end up selling it for $65. The buyer paid the shipping. I picked it up at an estate sale for four bucks and it came with a pair of pants. 
and the pants were also a bolo. So I did really, really well on this, but I thought it would sell faster. And this is the same estate sale that my husband bought that amazing fishing lure and he got crazy money for it. Like, why didn't I find the fishing lure? I find the jacket. But um, either way, uh, that's in one of my videos. A very, very cool find. All right, the next item I sold are these Lane Bryant jeans. And I have had these sitting around for probably a couple years. And I finally said I'm listing those Lane Bryant jeans. So I sold these for $34. $34.44. The buyer paid shipping and I picked these up at a discount store for about three bucks. The next item I sold is this vintage 18 piece nativity paper mache set. I believe this came from a thrift store, but you know what? I did not have it in my notes, so I don't remember what I paid for it and I'm not sure where I got it, but um, I'm guessing I paid $10 or less for it, and I think it came from a thrift store. It was either a thrift store or a garage sale, but they're really, really, it's really neat. I thought this would sell quicker also. It was a long tail item, but I did have it priced high. I ended up taking a best offer of $85 and the buyer paid shipping. This is what the bottom looks like, and again, I love selling made in Japan. I have a whole video dedicated to... Um, bolos made in japan so definitely check that out this guy um his neck yeah he was broken somebody fixed him so the next item i sold is this express jacket again this was a retail arbitrage back when i used to buy things at discount stores and flip them for money and there is definitely money to be made doing this but i am just over clothes but this one I sold for $35.25 and I had about $5 in it in the buyer paid shipping. And it was new with tags. And if you guys like the brand Express or Lane Bryant, I have tons in my store. So definitely go check it out. Don't be afraid to make me an offer because I want to move the clothes in my store. You can just um, click on make offer. And when you do, just put in the comments, Bolo Buddies or BB, something like that, so I know that you're a subscriber. The next item is this watch. It's a Tassot watch that my husband sold. And I'm not sure what he paid for this, but he picks up items all kinds of places. He um, is really a Bolo finder, but he sold this watch for $85 and the buyer paid shipping. And it's just a really uh, cool looking watch. It's wood. So I thought I would share that with you guys because I thought it was super cool. Um, this item, I cannot recall if I shared um, in one of my last set of videos. I had it marked uh, for the 10th, but I didn't remember doing these last two. So these two may be repeats if they are. I apologize. This is a vintage nativity. It came out of a mystery box and it's 13 pieces. Now, the weird thing about this is the animals were like different material than the people, but they were a complete set. Um, I want to say like the bottom people were kind of like a, I don't know, like a rubbery type deal. It, it was weird. Um, and you can see they've got, I think I show a picture of the bottom. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. I kind of cut it off. But anyway definitely different, but I ended up selling this for $55 and 24 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So sorry if that was a repeat. This one may be a repeat also. This came out of my Simpsons lot that I picked up at the thrift store. There's 17 Simpsons ornaments here and these sold for $55 and 24 cents, the buyer paid shipping. And I probably have less than a dollar in all of these. So Simpsons vintage, definitely something to be on the lookout for. Um, and these are my big money bolos. So please leave me a comment down in the comment section. Hit that thumbs up. There's going to be some videos popping up and subscribe right here if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.